I'm never getting drunk again. Or tipsy, or whatever degree of intoxicated I was. No, it makes it sound like it was a bad night. It wasn't. Shockingly, it wasn't. With Luca continuing his birthday celebrations elsewhere, Willow and I were left alone. I... What didn't I talk to Willow about? How did I even get here? Just three weeks ago, my plan was to visit some haunted backwater lighthouse and mess around with magic. Alone. Try and find some answers about my eye. Alone. Somehow, that spiraled into fighting a ghost, visiting a fortune-telling hag, saving a sea captain and his crew from an eternity as fish people, and, well, meeting Willow and Luca. Now I'm living at the Nodding Poppy and doing eye research with Willow, which... Right, my conversation with Willow. Started off simple enough, idle chatter and a display of my changeling abilities. But, guilt's got the better of me, and before I knew it, I was admitting to Willow that I dug up information on them behind their back. That I knew they were once a pirate, went by a name that wasn't Willow Jenkins, and have known Bruno, and thus been in and out of salvage for about eight years. I was expecting to be thrown out, but instead Willow just laughed at me. Look, I know the details I learned weren't exactly world-shattering, but it's the principle of the thing. They laughed in my face, kept cracking jokes like this was nothing. Such tower spit, so embarrassing. And that's all it ended up being. Embarrassing. But not everything Willow does is liable to end in embarrassment. They went to the Quayside Court, alone. No, they went to the Gallery of Shadows, alone. They walked up to the ticket booth and asked the man, and asked about the man with the monocle. Let me remind you why this is bad. On the day of the morning, I saw the man with the golden monocle at the Gallery of Shadows. Five years ago, that man was in the audience of the most twisted show I've ever had the displeasure of being a part of. He is in some way associated with the group that planted the eye in me, a group of fucking murderers. The group kidnaps people with the help of a monster called a Nothic, which will tear out all of your secrets by force. And if Willow keeps sticking their nose where it doesn't belong, they just might become that thing's next victim. And if I'm reading Willow right, tearing out secrets is the last thing they're going to want. Clearly, my state of incredible disarray over the past few days left my warnings lacking. I'll redouble my efforts, explain the danger more clearly. I just have to stop shaking whenever I think about it. I talk to Willow about so much, maybe too much. I even ask them to come with me when I leave salvage. A stupid thing to ask, but they didn't say no. I just hope they don't hate my guts after I spilled them all over their floor. I did wake up with their jacket on me. Anyway, speaking of my life falling apart, the virus. The Silver Dancer crew went their own ways the other day. I've been out of it for most of their stay, but it's good to see them managing to move on with their lives. Except Varus. He's carrying something much heavier than the rest of them. Apparently, our good captain is dragon-marked, marked with the storm, and was meant to be part of a political plot to solidify an alliance between House Lyrander and the Sea Dragons. The, the idea was that he'd go to House Lyrander as a double agent against the Sea Dragons, looking to get his qualifications as an heir, win them over. All a plan set up by him and Prince Rygert to bridge alliances. And then he disappeared. As a result, the whole alliance plan fell through, not to mention he and his crew lost six years of their lives. I can only imagine the weight he must be carrying. I just hope he can recover from it. On the topic of Varus and Finding, I have offered, v offered Visa's services to Willow. Apparently some white-haired man absconded with the singing bird Willow pawned off last week. The one that happens to have a recording of Varus's very personal song. It's not hard to see why Willow is scrambling to track it down. I don't mind helping, but that does mean going back to Regoport, to where I saw the man with the monocle. As I consider that, I find myself alone, manning the front desk of the Nodding Poppy. Seeker Elsa entrusted me with this, which is, uh, not important. She and Luca were doing something. They both looked so serious. I've never seen Luca look that serious outside of combat. Whatever they're doing, it must be important. I hope everything is okay. And this is where we pick up. Luca, it has... Last time we left off, just as Luca had completed his oath, I imagine that we will... Sort of the camera returns maybe... 20 minutes, half an hour later. After Luca and Seeker Elsa have had time to sort of wind down from the ceremony. And 
uh, return. So, and you're still at the front desk. It's yes. been maybe uh, an hour or so. Yeah. Maybe a bit longer. So when they you... step out, and it's probably gonna like they're probably like leaning on the desk, just leaning forward, staring at the door. So when when the two come out, they're gonna perk up and like just peer over. Obviously curious, but they're not going to speak up just yet. Mm -hmm. Um, in the, in the time that you were, uh, manning the front desk, I imagine that you, like, had helped a few people pick up some prescriptions and so on, but otherwise it was pretty calm. Yeah. Uh, Sika Elsa comes out and, uh, greets you and says, Thank you for taking care of the front of the shop while we were busy. Oh, yeah, no problem. It was, Yeah. A couple people she came by, you. but uh, nothing important. She knows. That's good to hear. Um, if you would like to, uh, we're all finished up. Um, and kind of looks at Luca for a moment and back to Elsa. Uh, good. Is, is everything okay? Should I... Oh, yes, it's fine. She smiles warmly and quite sincerely. We uh, just had something to talk about. Right, yeah. Makes sense. Good. Elsa looks at you, Luca. And you want me to take over? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, not like I'm trained for this, so I, I'm bound to mess up sooner or later, and it's gonna bow out from behind the uh, counter. Well, I'm not really trained either. I'm just learning as I go. <laughs> You're more of a doctor than I am. <laughs> of course. Dr. Luca, the station is yours. Thank you. Elsa sort of stifles a laugh in the background of like, hmm. Just be careful you don't let any customers hear you. I would hate to tarnish the puppy's reputation by having <laughs> untrained <laughs> vagabonds claiming that they can cure disease. I never said that. I just said that I was a doctor. Hmm? I'm teasing you, of course. <laughs> His secret's safe with me. Well, I should get back to it then. She, um... Uh, here, there's like a, a little jingle of a bell and uh, another person comes in for an appointment for like, I want to say it's uh, a mother and, let me see, uh, like a, 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 a pair of twin toddlers who are like obviously down with the sniffles, like all yeah. three of them yeah. have the sniffles and... Sika also oh. says, Oh, Miss Moss, come in, let me help you. And uh, goes about doing her thing. And you guys are left alone at the front while Sika also tends to her job. So is is Luca already wearing his uh, new little accessory, Sara? He is. That's, it stands out pretty sharply against the uh, against the strap, so Luca is probably going to notice and looking at it. Is everything all right? Uh, yeah. Is is that new? Mm mm-hmm. Huh. Do you want to look? Uh, well, I'm looking right now at a distance. <laughs> Did you want a closer look? Um, what is it? Just. A brooch, or and is kind of like uh, like closer to look. I like lean forward my chest, uh. <laughs> like arch my back and lean my chest forward so they can see. <laughs> of course you do. Of course he does. <clears throat> and we'll lean back. Um. Um, and make a religion check. Oh. <laughs> Take me to church. Take me to church. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Oh. 
maybe it's a holy symbol? <laughs> like the rest of him. <laughs> That's distinctly unholy. <laughs> is, is anyway. That... <laughs> Sorry, I'm asleep, I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Yep. Go back to sleep, Willow. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that a blood of all thing or mm -hmm. give them a look like do you want me to explain it? Uh or do you wanna guess? <laughs> I I don't think I don't think I have enough knowledge about your uh religion to make any solid guesses. I mean did well, what does it look like? Uh, jewelry. Mm-hmm. And? Uh, is that liquid inside? Mm-hmm. Is it blood? Mm-hmm. And squints. Why? Who? <laughs> Who's? <laughs> Yours. I think I would have noticed if that had been the case. It's mine. It's mine. Oh. That has some meaning, I assume? No, it's just pretty. <laughs> well, it, it's, um... I wouldn't put it past you, but I'm going to assume that's <laughs> not the answer. <laughs> it's, a. Uh... I guess it's like a... a physical reminder of my... I suppose you'd call it my oath to my faith. Oh, um, but it's new. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, that's what we were doing while you were out here. Oh. Like, right. Huh. I guess I kind of assumed you'd already I integrated. Well, yeah, you can be a part of something without, you know dedicating yourself to it or carrying it on you yeah I suppose that's true but now you're committed I suppose you could say that I hmm but, but... I had some thoughts this morning and I suppose they kind of led me to wanting to be a little bit more active in Representing what I feel, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. So you're going to have to change anything? Like, is this serious business? Or are you going to have to stop flirting with handsome people in the bars? <laughs> you're going to have to give that up because that's a pretty big part of you, Luca. It's going to be hard. No, I don't think I have to change that. <laughs> Uh, gonna lean my head on my hand. I, I don't think I have to change anything just to be more careful. Um, more careful with people <laughs> and myself. Oh, I think you're, you're pretty careful with people. <laughs> Maybe not yourself. But yeah. It, hey, that's something you can always work on. Hey, you you've done right by me, so you know if that's what your oath is, then hey. You're already on your way. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. You can kind of tell that he looks a bit tired around the eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, I I don't mean to keep you, maybe you should go. Get some rest if that was a tolling experience. I don't really know what, other than bleeding, apparently. I don't really know what that whole oh, deal entailed. <laughs> Probably an emotional roller coaster from the sounds of it, so don't let me keep you. I think I'd prefer your company, if that's alright with you. Um, yeah? <laughs> and looks around like maybe there's someone else here that Luca would prefer the company of. Not as in they want to leave, but as in they, they're. It's like, who, me? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh. <laughs> Cute. 
I think we can sort of uh, trail off from here. You spend <clears throat> sort of the, the rest of the afternoon uh, doing the usual work at the clinic. Cleaning up, so on, so forth. Mm -hmm. Um... Do we want to cut over to Willow and then cut back later to these two, or skip to the evening? What's Willow doing? Yeah, what is Willow doing? Um, probably working. Yeah, I'm guessing then Regalport's... They're, they'll be thinking of plans to go back to Regalport, but is that the mm -hmm. next day? It might be the next day. So... Just recapping, when was dinner with these guys last night? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Willow's probably just had to work all day. If that's yeah. the case. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it would be the um, second of Therondor now, so. Nice. Basically Tuesday. Okay. <sighs> yeah, well... I think Willow's gonna be working all day, but like in yeah. uh, in a, <laughs> they are thinking of the plans to go to Regalport, plans to, and and what they plan to do at Regalport, and also their plans of uh, <sighs> how are they going to approach the Nodding Poppy again? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> just imagine Willow working, but like with that constant like doesn't talk to anyone all day kind of yeah. head down vibe. I imagine you, like, in the morning, you basically uh, met with the two uh, people from the Nodding, uh, from the uh, Silver Dancer crew who have decided to try and find work around the Dry Docks, introduce them to Bruno, um, oh, put in a good, a good word. Point. Yeah. Would I have met them um, at the Nodding Poppy or, like, met them at the docks? Because if at the Nodding Poppy, I wonder if I, I met anyone else while I was there. I imagine probably at the docks. Cool. If that makes sense. Yeah. It was like a meet me there next morning and Willow was yeah. helping with their uh, orientation. However, I do think that Willow would be rather quiet and just kind of letting yeah. Bruno take control of it. Yeah. I mean, you're not sort of working in... around. <laughs> I imagine Willow is not working in the same area as these two and they're like new on the job. So they're still getting trained up and... Yeah. What Willow, Willow does, does is very specialist work. Yeah. Willow just shows their face, but probably doesn't say much and just kind of waves at Bruno and goes. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's a um, not very social day for Willow. <laughs> nope. Um, but roll me a tinkering check. Tinker's tools check. Just to we'll get a read on the vibe. T -t 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 Man, it's been 800 years. I know. Where is it? Goodness. Tinker's tools. So pretty average day for Willow, but Willow's average is very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's a very distracted day at work, however. Yeah. I think... Hmm. Let's say around lunchtime... You are going around and uh, give me a perception check. Nope. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> Could be worse. Not good, but. Um, so you are surprised when. Uh, Varys walks up to you and uh, uh, gives you a wave from the side. Oh. Oh! Um, how far away is he? Um, like... Um, five meters-ish? Oh, so enough that... We're here now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can't uh, escape. startles as if, like... They've been like head down, or not literally head down, but like you know the focus, mentally head like, down, distant yeah. focus. Yeah. So this is like the first time they've looked lucid all day. Like they've just kind of woken up. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, afternoon. Sorry, I'm not We're disturbing out. you. Y yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. 
decided to take a walk. That's a good idea. It's a nice day for a walk. Is it a nice day for a walk? <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's relatively DM. sunny. It's a bit uh it's a bit windy, but um Varys is wearing like a high coat and a scarf. High collared coat and a scarf. Uh but and his hair is being whipped around by the wind. Mm. But he's out and about. Uh Willow's looking to see if he's with anyone? Nope. He's alone. Oh. Uh, well, hi. Welcome to the docks. Yeah, I was just taking a wander around. Been mm. inside for a bit too long, so... <laughs> Might as well stretch my legs. Yeah, that's a good plan. <laughs> um... Um... Will is sort of just, like, racking their mind. Um... Like they were in the middle of something, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, where are you headed? Oh, n nowhere in particular. Uh, just getting some fresh air. Can I insight check his vibes? Sure. Oh, okay. Damn. You're really distracted today. Two lucky sevens. <laughs> seven. You seven. One more. Seven? You win the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seven. Seems to be honest. You mm. don't detect any... It's like, yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Um... How are you feeling today? Fine. He just takes, like, a, a deep breath, like he's really sort of... savoring the fresh air. It seems like he's basically taking a walk to clear his head. Hmm. Um. Getting used to being outside again. Do you mind company? No, I don't mind. You got something oh. to do? Or. No, that's <laughs> just wondering if you'd like me to leave. Um. Well, if I'd want to avoid way. you. Wouldn't have yeah, no, that's to a you. good point. That's a very good point. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I've just been finishing up some work. Uh, <sighs> say, do you want to see my boat? I spent so long talking about it yesterday. Oh, uh, sure. Sure, might as well. It's next to the ocean, so okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yep. We're always going to completely change traje traje trajectory. Sorry, and yeah. start leading <laughs> Barris back in the direction of their boat, which they were okay. probably. Walking away from. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so, like, you basically, you have your, your lunch from the nesting quail and are walking with Varys mostly in quiet. The docks are always busy, so there's, like, a fair amount of noise anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not, like, an awkward or uncomfortable silence, necessarily. It's just sort of, like, you're walking at a pace where it's not necessarily easy to keep a conversation going. Yeah. I imagine. Willow seems like they power walk everywhere. Yeah, literally. <laughs> when I said that they start back towards the house, I imagine like they start off at a pace. <laughs> yeah. It's like a march. Yeah. But they slow down after a while just so that yeah. Varys doesn't fall behind or yeah. have to run to keep up with them. Yeah. Also, they would have shoved their lunch right into their pocket, like, immediately upon Varys um, <laughs> yeah. calling out to them. <laughs> um, like, shoving coffee um, straight into pocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll deal with that later. Um, mm -hmm. When it gets a bit quieter. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, as, you, as you'd, as like, get to where your own skiff is. Mm hmm it like the noise dies down a bit and you're able to mm. 
Yeah. Does Maris seem like he's gonna say anything? Uh, or is this just quiet company, man? It's a bit quiet company, but he does eventually point out uh, a boat that's docked and is like, is that one yours, or? Oh, no, no. Mine's a bit smaller. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Uh, actually, if you... And then Willow's going to sort of lead him to the end of the dock and point it out, and it's 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 a brightly colored but very much smaller boat than the others. Yeah. There it is. Huh. It, uh, doesn't have a mast. No, it doesn't. Everyone points that out. <laughs> you can't sail without a mast. Well, I had plans, but... Yeah, right. I suppose... <laughs> They're a bit elaborate, and it takes a while to talk about it, but... I think I would probably be making a mast at this... Um, at this rate. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Maybe oh, I, I could mind. get your advice. <laughs> Certainly. At the very least, it'll be a uh, nice refresher. See if I haven't forgotten everything. Everything? Well, it's been a long time since I was in the vicinity of a ship of any kind, let alone a fishing boat. Fishing boat? <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're right. <sighs> so, <laughs> how'd you come about this vessel? Um, Bruno actually gave it to me. Oh, the... It was unfixable, so... Huh. I fixed it. <laughs> and how long have you been working on this? Um, a while. <laughs> no more than a year. Wow, no more than a year. Time flies. Uh, Varys's eyebrows sort of jump up and was just like, huh. She certainly looks a long way from unfixable. Yeah, <laughs> we'll adjust the jacket, like in that self-congratulatory way. <laughs> Does she have a name? Not yet. Hmm. Well, we call it the Jenkins Workshop, though that's just because I run a workshop out of it. Ah, I see. Yeah. So Doesn't really roll off the tongue, but... No, it's not really a ship's name. <laughs> Do you have any suggestions? Oh, I don't know. Varus sort of uh, steps up onto the deck and, like, runs his hand over the, sort of, side. Like, with this wistful expression on his face. Hmm. I'll let you know if I have any ideas. Yeah. Um, Maybe... Willow looks... Yeah. You continue. Maybe Willow looks... Uh, their expression changes a bit with that wistful look of his. Mm -hmm. Alright, sort of just walks the length of the deck and then... Are you following him or do you just let him sort of walk? Where is he walking, sorry? He's just walking like along the length <clears throat> of the boat itself. I'm just asking if you're keeping pace with him at all. Yeah, Willow's probably wandering, or at least standing a good distance while he observes. Okay. Then he sort of walks, inspects, looks around, just like an appraising eye of the the ship. Mm. He says, hmm. What condition did you find this in? Um... <clears throat> bad <laughs> not seafaring that's for sure hardly buoyant hmm. Hmm. so how much of this did you rebuild um 
Ne oldu be? That's impressive. Hmm. Var sort of turns around and walks back towards you again, sort of just like looking out over the sea. <clears throat> um, on the topic, actually, uh, uh, we're going to Regalport, I think, tomorrow or sometime soon, and I thought we could probably try to locate the Silver Dancer for you. Uh, I'd be much obliged if you if you could find anything out about it. Uh, where do you imagine it would be docked? Well, if it's still afloat and still under the Sea Dragon banner, I imagine it'll either be in Regalport itself, uh, probably probably in the, the harbor, Crown Bay. Mm. Of course, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. uh, otherwise, I imagine she'd be out at sea if she's not at the bottom of it. <laughs> um... Captain Varys, I think I asked already, but... Are you okay? No, sorry. I'm going to take that back. That's a stupid question to ask. Rather, how can I help? Varys sort of... There's a, a, a multitude of expressions that flicker across his face briefly. And just... Then he shakes his head and sighs and says, You've already done quite a lot to help me. That, well, there's not a quota. <laughs> Perhaps not, but... I don't know if... Not to sound like a sad sack, but... I don't know if there is a way that I can be helped right now. Beyond, he sort of shrugs. No, you're right. It's not about. It's not about that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've... I've been fixing boats so long. <laughs> Talking to you like you're one. <laughs> there are worse ways to deal with people. Yeah. Oh. He gives you a, a little bit of a wry smile. You know, if you don't mind me bringing it up, I'm sorry for being so like this all the time. It's just that every time I've spoken to you, you've brought up something incredibly monumental. <laughs> ah, well. I suppose being cursed for a while tends to Warp your perspective. Uh, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. No, 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 no. Not the mood down. It's more the mood. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me bringing it up, but your work with the sea dragons is unimaginable. <laughs> uh, how do you mean? Well, um, <laughs> your your plans with. Uh, Willow kind of leans in quietly. Prince Raiga and House Lyranda? Hmm, well. He sort of shrugs. Ideas are... Plans are easy to make. To pull them off takes something else, though. It sounded like you're on your way. I was... Maybe a year in... Two. A year. God. Yeah. Two. 
I, at risk of sounding insensitive, I have so many questions. <laughs> Might as well ask. Right. Sort of settles in and uh, folds his arms like in a comfortable lean over the side of the boat. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting to be <laughs> allowed to ask. Um, oh, right. Wow, okay, well. How? How how did how did you end up being the person selected to go and infiltrate House Lyranda? Well that's easy to answer. I'm one of the few and... among the sea dragons who had a mark of the storm. Yeah, but you had to have other skills. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how far a mark gets you. Especially I... with Mass Lyrander. Yeah, okay, that's a very good point. <laughs> but surely they could... Well, well, you're not inept. I guess you didn't go bumbling in and... I'm infiltrating. <laughs> and immediately no. get... You no. Know, yeah, so that makes sense. And... Okay. Well, that seems very simple when you put it that way. Of course. I mean, there was just... a bit of setup, of course. Of course. Couldn't just rock up with a whole pirate crew and claim to be trustworthy. That's a. That's what I mean. Sweet talk my way in a bit. That's what I mean. It's just you have skills in that department. I know that even if I had a, <laughs> even if I were dragon marked and. Went wandering into House Lyranda, I'd probably bumble myself into something. Well, uh... Yeah. I suppose the skills that makes one a good captain in general makes one a good... person to... negotiate. Yeah. But yeah, it was... It was shaping up to be promising. Yeah. Willow has the look on their face. Uh, they're not saying it, but the look says, like, and then it wasn't. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. At least I don't have to pretend to suck up to anybody anymore. That's good. Being mm. free from House Lyrander is not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, I. It's not a bad life if you don't mind the work, but uh, if you have bigger ambitions, it's a bit difficult to move up through the ranks. Do you have intention to move back up through the ranks of house lyranda no 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 no. sorry i think i've jumped the gun i'm just i've been considering where <laughs> what am i trying to say are you planning to go back into this M mayhem <laughs> sea dragons all of it i I don't know. Vera sort of rubs a hand through his hair and beard. I honestly don't know. It's been yeah. six years. I know. It's... The man I thought was the love of my life is dead. Hmm. I was as good as dead, lost at sea, for more than half a decade. Even for a half-elf, that's a long time. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> sort of taps his fingers together contemplating 
Seeker also has been very kind and talking me through it a bit. Yeah. She's It feels good to have some perspective from someone who's already lived quite a longer life than I have. I'm, what, 40, 48 now? Hmm. Gosh. We'll have to celebrate your 50th. <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. Don't know if I'll be in salvage in two years. Don't know where I'll be. The whole world has opened up again all of a sudden and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. So I'm trying, trying to take the Seeker's advice and take my time to get my bearings learn to be alive again after thinking I was doomed for so long <laughs> now there's an idea for a, a name for your skiff here he pats the side the second chance <laughs> fitting name for something that was once scuffed beyond repair that still stand in somehow um willa doesn't say anything they laugh but then just go quiet I think we can end the scene there, then. Yeah. Yeah, Willow just says yeah, and then, yeah, we're out. Yeah. Cool. We cut back to the nodding poppy. It is early evening. You guys are closing up, getting ready for dinner. Luca, I believe it is your turn to cook tonight. Yes. And we'll probably help with cleanup and possibly cooking, but they're watching the door every time they pass it. Are you waiting for something? Just wondering if Willow's coming back tonight. You could always go and ask them. I Invite guess. them over. I the feeling I might have spent too long at their boat. So Quick they question. Come? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, how long would Varys have spent out and would Willow have could Willow have walked him back? Um, good question. I imagine uh, Varys would have spent uh, a couple hours out and then, like, uh, continued his walk. And Willow probably had to get back to work. Yeah, fair. After lunch. Yeah. I was meant to make an offer, but the the name, the something threw me off, so I'll just sit here. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he walks home, but yeah, Willow's not there. I could always go and ask them. Yeah. I think I've bugged them enough. It's just, there's something I need to talk to you and Willow and Elsa about before we go to Regalport. Then all the more reason to bring them over. <sighs> Rubs Would you like face. me to go in your place? You can take care of dinner. No, this I'll is my this, Willow. It's my responsibility. I mean, I guess we can share responsibility. Oh, can I just ring the doorbell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Ding dong. <laughs> oh god, the oh. ding dong. Do you want to get that? Sure. And we'll slide away from the kitchen. I go open the door. Willow is there. Ah. Hello. I am magic. 
Come in. And we'll step aside. Okay. Close the door. Will is already walking in <laughs> and looking around the room, like at uh, various things in the nodding poppy. You all right? Yeah, I'm just checking something out. Hey, did what Captain Virus come back? He did. A few yeah, hours okay. ago. A few hours ago. Okay, just making sure. He's in the usual place Willis? if you want to talk to him. Oh, it's okay. I spoke to him this morning. Um... Can I help you? Do you work here? Oh, in fact, as of this morning... No, I don't, Willow. <laughs> but I've been here for a little while, so I know where a few things are. Well... Do you happen to know the most vulnerable points of entry of the Nodding Poppy? Why? Because I was thinking of setting up an alarm. If Tika Elsa lets me. Well... It's actually pretty secure, but the usual. Doors and windows. Especially on the first floor here. Hmm. I will say the first floor windows are... Uh small enough that it would be difficult for an adult to get through a human-sized adult mm. the main to get the through door them. is one door more yeah, vulnerable just... than the other because there'd be the the front like <laughs> clinic entrance and then there's a side door right i imagine the front door is a bit more open to the road yeah for the sake of people getting in yeah I imagine Willow is just standing at the door, like opening and closing it, like uh, looking at the hinge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that would probably be the first place. Mm. Generally, when your front door I'd... opens, you'd want it to let you know someone was coming in. At least I would. Can I hear them yeah. talking? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi, Luca. Who is it? <laughs> Is he joking again? Probably. You, you can never be 100% sure. It's Barry! Really? I wasn't expecting him back. I guess your cooking's just so good he couldn't leave. Aw, oh, that's so that's sweet. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> Willie rolls their eyes and gets back to just testing various uh, <laughs> parts of Door, the room. <laughs> door squeaking opening noise. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It's a it's a pretty sturdily built home. Okay. Willow's just looking to reinforce it. And where do you stay? Uh upstairs. There's a handful of actually no, N is downstairs. Luca and Seeker Elsa are on the second floor. Okay, uh, Willow's gonna call bathroom. oh Willow's gonna call out to Luca. Luca, would you mind if I poke around the rooms? What for, Barry? <laughs> oh, you know, just Barry things. My undergarments? No, Luca, not your undergarments. Unless you need them to be extra what kind secure. Of Barry's are you talking about? Which I don't think so. Uh, and as long as out you your room. Don't go through anything private. I don't see an issue. I'm not I'm not even liaising with him anymore, and may I? Sure, yeah, why not? There's a sort of call from uh, the sitting room near the back uh, that's like a room away. It's like, is... Do we have a visitor? Oh, Willow stops in their tracks. <laughs> Willow's here. Hi. Well Oh, Willow. Seeker Elsa, like, there's the sound of Seeker Elsa getting up. You don't have to get up. At least let me say hello. <laughs> Relaxes. Mm -hmm. She comes over and uh, greets you and says, Good evening. Hi, I didn't bring anything. Oh, you don't need to. It's quite all right. Luca right. always well, I... cooks as if he's feeding an army. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
I was actually just about to um, inquire with the other two whether you would be interested in me setting up any sort of um, security measures around the nodding poppy. See, Galsa sort of tilts her head. That's very generous of you. Um, may I ask why? It's just a clinic and... Um, uh, <laughs> Willow can't say why because it's a reason N gave them. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of squinting at them. Um, just had an inkling to do so. I asked them to. Okay, so you also gets to make insight checks on all of you fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I make a deception check? Yes, you can. All three of you, please do. <laughs> am I... Am I... Do I have any bonuses on this for today? Nope. Damn it. Only saving throws. Dang it. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying for you, bro. Oh. <laughs> she sees through all of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Holy match! It's... Damn it! <laughs> just like yeah, that. you have to meet it to beat it, baby. That's how contested roles work. Damn well, it. And wasn't necessarily trying to hide anything anyway, because, well, how does Elsa respond? She sort of gives you a look and says, hmm. If there's um, anything troubling you, I do hope that you let me know. Uh, yeah, actually, and, and looks between Willow and Elsa... There is something I wanted to talk to the three of you about before we go forward. It doesn't have to be now, but... Shall yeah. we perhaps wait until after dinner? That might be best. She nods. Very well, then. I'll get back to my reading, um, and we'll have a conversation after dinner. And gives a firm nod. But they're not looking at Elsa or Willow. Elsa nods as well and gives you all a look that <laughs> says she basically expects you to. How could she give explain. me a look? I'm in the other room. You feel it, Luca. Bro, I can't you... see the disappointment. <laughs> you can feel you it. You know. Into the room. Say that you walked into the room when you said that it was your idea, because that would be very handsome of him. Luca sure. peeks yeah. out of the kitchen with a washcloth on yeah, his Yeah, I hands. mean, it's like, it's, there's not that much of a uh, gap between the rooms. There's like... Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, Luca, you gotta bear this yeah. burden. You gotta bear this burden. You'd like, Otherwise, you're not, no, you would have had disadvantage because you're lying from the next room over. <laughs> 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 but yeah. Also, if you're in the same room as Willow, they're going to immediately, probably... Nice brooch. Thank you. Willow make Can a religion make a... check. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to lean into Willow so they can have a look as well. <laughs> yeah, that distracts them. Luca <laughs> leaning in and uh, his, the smell of him hits me in the face and I'm like, well, oh, yeah. I don't know what that is anymore. Yeah. You you get distracted by trying to avoid having your eye taken out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop doing that, Luca. If you want people what? to actually guess, you're gonna have to stop doing that. It's very distracting. I'm just showing it. Sure. It's very but pretty. It, but you can tell it's a, it's a holy symbol of some kind. You get that for free. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to look at Luca like with a sort of is that special look. He's smiling like, yes, it's special. Ask me about it. Willow's not going to ask you about it. Willow's going to continue on to, <laughs> to the room. Oh. <laughs> he slumps like a sad puppy <laughs> when he isn't given the opportunity to talk and just <laughs> trudges back to the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. What you making for dinner? Luca? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make a big pot of some sort of stew. Lots of vegetables. Nice. 
Mm, Lots of potatoes yum. and root vegetables. Yum, yum, yum. Ugh. And bread. I probably went oh, and got yeah. bread. And, like, I'm keeping it warm. Lots of butter. Oh, yes. <clears throat> probably, like, some melted cheese for the bread as well to dip yes. into the soup. Yes. Dip into the stew. It's so hearty and so, like, there's a smell of rosemary and sage and so on. Just, it smells delicious in the nodding poppy, as it often does. It helps with healing. Yeah. Very scientific. Yep. Mm. Hey, this is this is fact. You eat good, you heal better. You are what you eat. You need that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You exactly. need that energy. Nutrients, baby. This yeah. is why Luca is a doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Luca. Dr. Luca. Dr. Prince Luca. What was your other name again? Dr. Prince. Magician Luca. PhD. <laughs> PhD. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um... Dinner is served. Varys is in better spirits than he was the last time we all had dinner together. He's ah, apparently so rock bottom. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Marginally. Yeah. Um, he uh, has apparently found a, a good book on Seeker Elsa's recommendation and is absorbed in that. What's the book? What's uh, it about? Like, what kind of book is it? Uh, it's like a, a novel or something. Fiction? Yeah. Willow really might to ask him about him. it. Yeah. Willow's scoping. So. Nice. Make an insight also, check. When... <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> hey. Bye. Well, you didn't win, but... Hey? Like, you didn't get three sevens in a row, so you didn't win. Oh. Ha <laughs> uh, Good thing that's not this game. Um... <laughs> so... Varys seems, like, perkier after the sort of walk and conversation he had with you earlier that day. He seems to be sort of settling in obviously there's still that sort of deep sadness about him but that's to be expected given his situation but he seems to be doing well today today is a good day for recovery oh uh, are they eating dinner because willow might mention something to him yeah do you like books like that oh it's uh Normally not, but there's something interesting about this one. Mm. I think I know that one. That's my twin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Willow's thinking, it's a part of a series. If we're heading to Regalport, I could probably borrow some. Mm. And clears across the table at you. <gasps> Chewing. <laughs> Willow looks back at you, book thief. And and, and, and's not giving you a look like you've done something wrong. And's giving a look like expecting to get involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> to be involved in the book heist. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> They're pretty good. I imagine and... it's it's something like a I imagine it's a, it's kind of a light-hearted um mystery novel basically, like a, a famous five mm. or mm. Uh, Hardy Boys type thing. Cute. Cool. Yeah. And I think uh, Willow might also suggest, upon seeing his very, like, palpable improvement, mm -hmm. not improvement, but, like, his, well, yeah. Good mood. Better than, yeah. Might also suggest, um, if you make your, ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> if you make your walks a, um, frequent routine, I wouldn't mind joining you. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. So, you know where I live? I certainly do now. Hmm. Provided you yeah, don't... Me. sail out somewhere. Yeah. 
I thought your boat didn't no. work. Yeah, no, it's... Well, it doesn't yet. But maybe with some guidance, I will... Make a fantastic mast. <laughs> Willow goes back to eating. Yeah. Nonetheless, the offer has been placed. <laughs> mm-hmm. How kind of you. Cool. So, dinner wraps up. Varys heads out into the garden to smoke his pipe. He bought a pipe while he was out today. Huh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Been smoking in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Seeker Elsa says, "No, <laughs> we're gonna get grilled. <laughs> oh. Now we're gonna get in trouble because we lied to Mom." <laughs> <laughs> there was something you wanted to tell me, Hen. Yes, um, I didn't actually ask Willow to build those things. I just didn't want them to get in trouble. <laughs> I guessed as much. Yeah, it, I'm. Correct me if I'm wrong, Willow, but I'm assuming this has to do with our recent discussions. Willow says nothing in that way that means yes. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Right. Anne is going to stand up from the table, and they have their book with them, their usual book. And they're going to take it out of its uh, straps and flip it open. And then hold the pages to their chest and kind of observe the room and look at each one of you. It feels very official. <laughs> because <laughs> it is waiting patiently and with a neutral expression. She is like, she gives you maybe an encouraging nod that to say like, she's listening. I sit up a little <laughs> bit straighter because I feel like this is important. <laughs> Willow looks amused by your tiny mayo antics. <laughs> All right, but mayo or mayo? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Both. Fair enough. <laughs> Before I get into this, um, I'm going to ask you all to keep it to yourselves. Not necessarily for my sake, but for yours. I think it's important that I tell you, but if the wrong people find out you know some of these things, it might not be good for you. So... Do with that what you will. And takes a deep mm -hmm. breath and lowers their book from their chest to observe the pages. All right. As you might recall, I mentioned a man with a golden monocle recently. A conversation with Willow, and at that end gestures to Willow with one hand, brought to my attention that I may not have been clear about my concerns. So let me explain. I'll be brief, and I don't mean to scare anyone. But it feels remiss not to warn you all. Even I'm unclear on some of the details, but I'll tell you what I do know. And Anne's going to start to pace at this point. Uh, five years ago, I and several other people were um, kidnapped. A group I still don't know the name of did things that um, things to us that don't bear repeating. And... Um, I was the only survivor. This man with the monocle didn't hurt us directly, but he did watch. So if he's here, the group that hurt me might be too. Or he might tip them off. That said, association with me doesn't entirely matter. Everyone who was kidnapped with me were strangers, which means any of you could be at risk if you pique their interest. They were very organized, very prepared. I'm sure they do what they did to us to another group. I'm pretty sure they have. So it's my belief that even if I left, even if I never met you, no one in this room would be entirely safe if you crossed paths with them. And Anne's going to turn around their book now and like standing up, they're gonna put it down on the table firmly and they're gonna have that um, sketch of the Nothic that they, sh they showed Willow the other day. Mm -hmm. to show everyone at the table 
they utilize a monster called a Nothic. They're going to gesture to the sketch at that point, which can read your mind, find out your secrets, use them against you. By extension, so can some members of the group. They're going to take the uh, book away now and return it to the crook of their arm. Seeker also, like, has gone from listening to politely to, like, being quietly horrified to hear this. <laughs> and, like, they're, they bite their lip, but try and keep their composure and pause for a minute. And, um, finally, I'm almost done, I promise. Uh, this group is somehow associated with House Fjarlin. Maybe House Therani. I've seen the man attending theaters owned by both. But most notably, the um, the younger sister of Fjarlin's leader likely acted as the ringleader of my my kidnapping. So I urge you to act with caution around Fjarlin theaters in particular. I don't know where the other victims were taken from, but I was taken well out of theater. So I can only recommend you uh, <laughs> postpone any plans to visit the Quayside Court, at least for now, until I figure out what's going on. Like I said, I don't mean to scare anyone, and... I don't have much of a solution right now, aside from, I guess, watch your back. I know this probably sounds crazy, but I promise it's true. And if anything happened, well, I I needed to tell you. And it's going to snap their book shut and more hug it to their chest than hold it in any sort of proper posture. And um, I'll take questions now, if you have any for me. The younger sister of... That... That's terrible, and... I... It's, it's... It's fine, Seeker. It was... It was... It was years ago. It's not fine. That's... She sort of... Looks very distressed and then reaches out and she step she stands up and basically goes over to you and sort of stands in your space like she wants to hold you but like is it sees you sort of draw in on yourself and this yeah from I'm... this distance she can probably see and hands are shaking as they're holding their book But they're trying to keep a uh, a neutral expression. Hmm. It's uh, not working very well. Like it's it's flinching, yeah. but they're trying. Yeah, yeah. Seeker Elsa is very um, concerned. She says, she breaches out and basically gently puts her hand over yours on the book and says I'm terribly sorry for what happened to you I, I said it was fine and looks away she from she shakes her head Willow and like Luka. I think this is clearly distressing you and clearly very dangerous. I understand now why you were fearful. I will say that whatever it is, you should What happened exactly? If I may ask? If, it, if it's too terrible to bear, I understand. I'm not wanting to talk about it, but... No one here needs to know what happened. I hope none of you ever do. Did they do... Did they hurt you? Physically? Emotionally? Well, uh... <laughs> every way you can imagine, I suppose... <laughs> She gives this very, this look of, like, pain, sympathy, and 
basically draws you into a hug. Yeah. And doesn't resist. They just kind of you know, stand in stunned silence and also can really feel how much they're shaking at this point. Like they were doing a good job at a distance from not looking like they were shuddering as badly as they are, but this close. Elsa sort of w strokes your hair once and then sort of murmurs quietly to you. Would you like me to help ease your fear? Can you? Can. Yeah, with magic. Yeah, okay. Elsa casts calm emotions on N. And I am assuming you are willingly failing the, the saving yep. throw. You are not, not resisting. resisting. Okay, so. I will post it in the chat as to what it does. You attempt to suppress the strong emotions in a group of people or, well, person. This mm. one's a little more targeted. Um, uh, suppress any, you, you can suppress any effect causing a target to be charmed or frightened. Um, alternative... Uh, you can make a target about indifferent about creatures of your choice. Uh, so basically, in the flavor text version of Calm Emotions, N feels their fear sort of die down, like the volume has di been dialed back way down. So, like, distantly, you are still aware that this, of this fear, mm -hmm. but you feel calm you feel zen almost so slowly they're they're shaking kind you, of eases off you're able to sort of breathe normally you don't feel that like same gripping tension in your chest like you're Going under attack to die. <laughs> yeah it it really helps a lot it's like You are completely lucid, but it almost feels like trance-like in a way. Mm. Like you can just think and speak clearly without having to deal with the intense emotions wrapped up in it. For a moment. May, may I ask how Luca is looking right now? Because we're all just Even. sitting here, yes? He's looking flat expression. Mm-hmm. There. What Take about you? Says and, like, strokes ends hair once again before sort of gently stepping back and giving them a little bit more room to breathe. Thank you should be thank able you. to talk freely now without worry. And nods. They haven't really moved before or after the embrace. They're just kind of standing there, still hugging their book. Uh, yeah, this this wasn't really meant to be about me. Though, yes, the um, the offer still stands. I want to be as clear about this as possible because I don't want anyone here to get hurt. Offer? Uh, the questions about what I just talked about. Oh. Is anything unclear? Do you understand what I'm saying? I will say, this is a huge fucking deal to hear about. Um, this is like... Uh, like, royal conspiracy bullshit... Yeah, By the sounds almost. Of it. it would be like hearing uh, that. Um, it would be like hearing Hollywood that, kind of. It would be like hear hearing that Hollywood has a, a death cult in it. Yeah, it's and having living like, proof standing in front of you. Yeah, yeah, and just being like, "Yo, what?" <laughs> <laughs> of just yeah, like, yeah. Not yeah, only that's... did did these people kidnap and murder and torture people uh but there's somebody saying that 
they lived through it and having very little proof of that and also like these are extremely powerful influential and because this is house fiarlin and Thirani that we're talking about long lived people yeah. that are up to shit elves can live to be about 700 years the leader of house fiarlin i think at this point is in her 500s her younger sister is like maybe um maybe 400 or so they've been alive longer than corvair has been at war and corvair has been at war or was at war for a very long time just to give you yeah. the scale of yeah that's time. a lot it's uh. it's a hell of a bombshell to drop um. imagine saying basically the the most powerful hollywood executives and who are also the most famous Hollywood actors, uh, abducted, tortured, and murdered people. Did they do that already? <laughs> anyway. Is Luca going to say anything? No, not yet. Elsa asks a few questions that we can just, like, montage over. She wants to know when and where this happened. Mm. Um, oh. And, uh... Yeah, that'd be, that would have been about five years yeah, ago I wouldn't now. mind yeah. knowing, specifically. And... Yeah, we're just gonna montage through this sort of reported speech it, just because it'll be quicker than role-playing it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm. But, and obviously you can, like, choose to talk through dialogue answers. You feel I much have... calmer now, and you will yeah. for, what? A minute? I wouldn't, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say that because this is a, this is a, this, here's a fun thing about Eberron, is that spells can be very easily modified in a way that makes them maybe not as effective but certainly longer lasting mm. um so while this version of uh calm emotions has and basically feeling calmed down for about 10 minutes hey i have questions willow's not going to say that but yeah just as an aside <laughs> yeah I think Willow would usually wait until they had N on their own, but considering there is a magical calm set on N right now, and the only reason they haven't been prying is because N doesn't have that magical calm, because mm -hmm. N always is on the cusp of an anxiety attack. Willow is, um, they have been listening very flatly this whole time, basically, just like idly. Mm -hmm. I, they seem idly listening, but now they're going to ask. So you remember him in the audience. Man with the monocle? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that you remember other members of the audience? Yes, I remember quite a few faces, but quite a few faces aren't alive anymore. Right. And you recall who it is. You recall Sean five years ago. House Fialin. Smoky Towers District, <sighs> yes. Smoky Towers District. It was at a theater in a sort of gentrifying district right that theater is now burned to the ground hmm. might as well you have tell no idea have you... yeah it was the theater was called the snapdragon and it was owned by house fiarlin right have you written down what you recall of the others i've written down or they what bears remembering? I'm pretty sure I'm going to remember people when I see them. 
ideally, you would want to remember them before you see them. No. I can be confident that at least half of them aren't alive anymore. <laughs> uh, can I insight check that? <laughs> sure. Mm. I'm going to as Is well. It? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just curious if N says that with the uh because N killed them or <laughs> <laughs> No, it's pretty It's flat. It's a flat fact right now. Yeah. Okay. Ah. And I will say that Willow's particular vibe almost seems rude, like curt. Like with how bluntly they're talking to N, considering how they've been very um careful with talking to N before. That's fine. Um, N's here to answer questions. And N is also yeah. calm, so Yeah, I think Seeker Elsa also probably asked N how they escaped. Yeah, I was just about to <laughs> ask. How did you survive? <sighs> to whoever asked. Magic? <laughs> Well, you know, Willow, that's, that's how I got my eye. And the eye helped me escape. Tika also has a quiet, like, uh, because while she certainly knew details of your previous adventures, I don't I think Luca would have been kind enough not to talk about other people's business. Yes. The eye was part of the, um, hurt. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Willow's going to sort of, not cut in after Elsa, but yeah, kind of cut in after Elsa. So when you came to Salvage, you didn't know this. No, I've only remembered recently. Until then, it was bits, pieces, nightmares. Why did you come to Salvage? I needed a place to spend the winter. There's really nothing else to it. Really? And, and the lighthouse was haunted? Well, that was an afterthought. I, I just came here to wait out the winter months. That's, that's it. There are plenty of places to wait out the winter. Why here? It's where I ended up. I'd, I've been wandering most of the time, and then winter hit, and here I was. Seemed as good a place as any, right? Right. Regardless of what brought you to us, or what circumstance it was, I'm glad that we are here for you. Hmm. You're probably going to feel pretty terrible once the spell wears off. <laughs> I'll make sure to retreat to my room before then. You well, then I might mind. as well set up before then. Uh, I think Willow is going to... Hmm? Excuse themselves. Can I check on them? See if I can glean anything as to why they're acting no, no, no. so short? Oh, unless there's something else I should be doing. Um... Basically, Seeker Elsa is offering to, like, I'll come spend some time with you, and I can at least help you with this. Hmm. Any other questions that we should figure out? Any other information that's think. pertinent? I imagine that Anne basically goes over, like, the important details hmm. of this group that were at the Snapdragon Theater five years ago in Sharn. What they know <clears throat> of the man with the monocle, which is not much, admittedly. And is not detailing what the man in the monocle did. And is yeah. only detailing that. He was there and he watched the uh, hurt, yeah. which is what N keeps referring it to. It yeah. as happen. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess the the question is like the questions that Seek Elsa asks are like, how are you caught? How do you know that 
Um, Ilanis uh, de Fjarlin was the ringleader. And how did you escape? Yeah, so that's the Nothic caught me. I was at the mm -hmm. theater and the Nothic spotted me and grabbed me and that's how I was kidnapped and I saw I, I saw Alanis. She was partaking in the uh, experience. And magic from the eye helped me escape. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I got a question on the tip of my brain. Talk around the point. Um, we, we can no. go into meta stuff, or we can briefly pause and go to intermission. No. Oh my. I think... Sarah, do you have any things to ask? Luca does not. Luca's just... Absorbing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Absorbing. Luca is Will taking this better than Seeker Elsa is. Maybe because he heard a little bit of it before, though not mm. the full extent. Uh... I think Willow might ask, could you compile a list of anybody, any traits of who you do recall? Any other details? Already done. Okay, could I see that? I can make you a copy. Thank you. What do you want to do about this? If anything, I think that would be Luca's question. Okay. As well. mm. I'll leave it to Luca then. I'll, leave, I'll have Luca ask that question because I think it's more narratively interesting for him to ask at the end of <laughs> okay. Ken's explaining. So after a moment of quiet, I'll sit up a little bit and I'll say N, if, if I may, what do you want us to do about this? Oh, I want all of you to stay out of trouble. And I intend to get answers on your own well that might be best but if I'm honest no I would prefer help strength in numbers well you know I'm here for you yeah. Is that oath of yours going to make this more difficult? I don't think it will. And there's where we cut to intermission. <laughs> yeah! So, we return after that incredible reveal from N about how they got their eye, and the people that gave it to them. The Calm Emotion spell is about to wear off, and Seeker Elsa is basically herding N <laughs> to their room. Yeah, As the sort of resist. seconds tick down. Um, imagine the door sort of closes as you feel the last of the spell trickle away and Seeker Elsa is still in the room with you very close to you I imagine probably holding your hand when yeah. all the like fear and everything rushes back again yeah it's probably... you're still on the cusp of yeah so uh... Especially if Elsa's holding their hand, they can probably, like, 
feel it as much as yeah. hear and breathing start to pick up again. I feel the shaking starting to return. It's all right. It's all right, Anne. Sorry. You're safe with me. No, please, don't apologize. Like I said, it was it was, a, it was a long time ago. Five years is not that long. <sighs> and I mean, I I I survived. I I'm I'm the lucky one. Yes, you did survive, and you are incredibly brave, and incredibly strong for doing that. You've done it alone for so long. But it's alright. You don't have to be alone, and you don't have to keep your guard up here. You are safe here. Elsa. And it did happen a long time ago. And not looking at Elsa, but Elsa can probably see that their eyes are looking a bit glassy. She just keeps hold of your hand and is like stroking her thumb over your knuckles in a very comforting motherly way, for want of a better word. Hmm. I'm, I'm sorry if I scared you. I, I know it's a lot. I know I probably sound crazy. Half the things I say sound crazy. I don't think you're crazy. Thank you. I think you've been very hurt. You've been dealing with it alone for a very long time. I'm not frightened of you, N. I'm worried for you. I know we've only known each other for, what, a little over two weeks? And nods. But you seem like a very nice young person. Uh, that you... Elsa does see and like crack further. Like the tears actually start welling. And they squeeze Elsa's hand. And I'm very glad that Luca found you in that lighthouse. Was able to rescue you. Was able to bring you here. To me. Yeah, me too. I just don't want you to get hurt because of it. It's alright. I understand. I will do my best to keep all of us safe. And Thank nods. you for warning us. Yeah, there's not much else I can do right now. I can't do anything. It's Couldn't right. do anything. It's alright. She, like, puts a, a hand on your cheek. And, like, rubs it gently. It's okay. You're safe here. It's safe to cry here. <laughs> and it's probably gonna collapse into Elsa's chest at that point. Yeah, she holds and close, like, very close. She cradles the back of their head with a hand and... Just, like, lets them cry into her shirt completely. It's just, she just holds N for a very long time. Yeah, it's probably a just, very long cry. And yeah. It's a much lots. needed one. Yeah. Also doesn't, like, give any indication of, like, pushing away or letting go. She basically holds N through it the whole time. Just murmurs soothing things and makes them feel comforted. Eventually, and will regain I wouldn't say composure, but just awareness. Yeah. It winds down eventually yeah. after a long cry. They just like the the sobbing goes to like sniffling. Seeker mm. also gives them a handkerchief. Sorry. It's alright. Trust me, I've 
dealt with much worse than a few <laughs> tears. She smiles and, like, gently, like, nudges your chin with her knuckles and, like, a, a sort of a affectionate, not quite punch, but, like, the, the gesture is there of, like, chin up. Mm. Mm. I'll get you a glass of water. Thank and, you. Like, she just pours one out and offers it to Anne and then sits down on the bed. And will cradle the glass in their hands and shuffle over and sit down beside her. And slowly nurse the drink. Mm. Also just keeps them company for a while. Comfortable silence. Comfortable mm. quiet. I feeling better? Yeah, a little, a little bit. It feels. Yeah, I guess so. If you ever need a shoulder to lean on, just ask me. Thank you, Elsa. I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you for this. You don't need to repay me. But I'm happy to have you here. I'm happy to have your help around the house. I'm happy to help. She smiles. Hmm. Elsa? Yes? Can you... Can you tell me a little lie? Can you tell you me mean? that I'm going to be okay tomorrow? I don't need to lie to say that. You will be alright tomorrow. And nods... Thank you. You're in good company now. Yeah. And I can guarantee you that between myself and Luca, no harm will come to you. And if any harm does come, we will be there to help you heal your wounds. Yeah, you know, I believe that. She reaches out and, like, gently holds your wrists. Even the ones that aren't visible on the outside. Yeah. Anne's going to reach across themselves and put their hand atop Elsa's. She squeezes gently. I won't keep you. You can, you can go if you you want. I've already taken so much of your time with this. Oh, it's all right. I don't have anywhere important to be. But I imagine Willow and Luca are probably a little bit worried about you. <laughs> I don't know if I can really show my face right now. If you want, I can tell them that you've gone to sleep early. Yeah, maybe. You can tell them I'm I'm okay. Tell them she I'm nods. okay. You are okay. With another little squeeze of your hand, Seagrousa stands up and sort of brushes her skirt straight. I'll see you in the morning, all right, Anne? Yeah, see you in the morning. If you need anything, though, don't be afraid to call. Thank you. She smiles and leaves, closing the door behind her gently. May I suggest 
may yeah. I request something? Yeah. Could we discuss Luca and Willow parallel to this scene? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Please do. <clears throat> As in, I believe when uh, N goes to the room with Elsa, mm -hmm. it's just these two. Is Luca going to say anything to Willow? Sorry? Sorry, I was muted. Um, maybe not. Will it, Luca looks like he's thinking. Okay, is he going to say anything to Willow when they hop up and start? Basically, they look like they're going to leave, like right out the front door. Yes. Where are you going? They're not going to say anything, but they've left the door open and they are standing out the front. They've pulled Fish Dog out of their pocket. Okay, I'm gonna follow. <clears throat> Surveying? Wait, sorry, what did you say? Surveying. You're surveying, or was that a question to Willow? <laughs> That's a question to you. Are you surveying? Suppose I am. Uh, Willow tosses the fish dog into the air, and it does a little... catches its balance with the little fins whirling around it, and then... Um, Willow nods their head and it starts doing a long circle around the nodding poppy. Varys will see it from the backyard also. Mm -hmm. As it does these big loopies around the house and seems yeah. to be um, assessing random corners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you alright? I'm alright. I'm not the person to be asking. You're the only person here. You're here. Are you alright? I'm fine. Hmm. Can I check on them? See if they're alright? See if they're lying to me? Sure, you can try and do an insight check. Willow, you can contest or tell me what Luca sees. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Ooh, 15. I don't think I will contest. I think Willow is openly agitated. And seems kind of annoyed in a way that I don't know if Luca has seen them be annoyed before. Like they're bristling. Your hair's standing up. Pardon? The hair on your ears is standing up. Uh, okay, no. Okay, will, will it like. <laughs> pouts? <laughs> Uh, okay. And? Will you want to tell me why? Are going to put their bandana down so that he stops looking at them? Well, for the reason why anyone else else's ears would be... Uh, well, not every, you know, people with fur on their ears, why their hair would be standing up, because that's a... It's just it just never just never ends does it <laughs> the houses are always up to something and when you think you know what they're up to they're up to something worse <clears throat> willow seems to look at luca now and just kind of pause and go back to fish dog looking at fish dog what was that pause about did he ask that out loud no can i tell I'll give you this one for free. Willow's bitching about the houses. You don't have to tiptoe around me. I'm not affiliated with any house. <laughs> well... Willow nods at the back of his neck. We don't know that. Are you distrusting me? <laughs> Willow gives him an eyebrow raise, like... How do they? How does he expect them to answer that question? Straightforwardly. I've just met you. Okay. Once. I just, I just met you. Have I given you reason to distrust me? It... Don't take it personally. I don't. I get the feeling you don't trust anyone. <laughs> okay. That's fine. 
shrug very casually. You can tell me if you're irritated, though. You're welcome to express how you're feeling. Thank you. Um, Fishdog has perched itself on the top of the building and mm -hmm. seems to be uh, positioned on its, like the three fins have moved down to the bottom of mm -hmm. Fishdog and it's kind of just like settled Tripod. in like it's part of the building. Yeah. And it's just sitting there now. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm standing with my also, arms crossed and I kind of like gesture. What's that doing? I'll keep it here a century until I can build something more specific, I suppose, to the nodding poppy. It's We'd going be to be grateful. an alarm. Mm. Operate as an alarm, and hopefully, will shield programmed exits. So, or rather, entries. I'll put it over N's window, so you can tell them when they emerge. Eventually, if they emerge, <laughs> that nodding poppies reinforced at least a little. It's better than nothing. Yep. Listen, I'm going to go home. Um, thanks, Yuka Elsa, for the food. And I'll see you guys. All right. Have a good evening. You as well. The night air has gotten quite cold. Clouds on the horizon. It's dark. It's gonna storm? No. Just okay. overcast. I idly like rub at the little brooch on my chest with my thumb while my arms are crossed, thinking. Watching fish dog before I go back inside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the end of the hallway where Anne's room is and just wait. Mm -hmm. Not close enough that I can hear anything, but... Yeah. Yeah. I think shortly after, Seeker Elsa comes out. Oh. Hello. I know they're not alright, but how are they doing? Better now. That's good. And you? <sighs> I'm very glad you found them. I as well. I'm gonna kind of usher her into the kitchen. Mm. Make her some tea. She follows you. Poor creature. I can understand why they're so skittish around me. I think they would be skittish in general. Mm. I don't think they've had much in the way of friends or family for quite some time. It's hard not to want to reach out and comfort those who've been so Previously wounded by life. I'm glad you're here for that. For them. Mm. Gonna offer her a tea. Like sit she at the table with her. With a thank you. <sighs> and yourself? You seem to 
already know a little bit of what they talked about. I nod slowly and kind of rub my chin in thought. And did mention a few things. Nothing in such detail, but I knew they were carrying a heavy burden. Indeed. I suppose it was only thanks to the spell that they were able to proceed through telling that much that calmly. Mm Mm-hmm. Again, we're fortunate you're here. Hmm. You've certainly brought a lot of new faces to the clinic lately. She smiles, like, a little bit wryly. (laughs) Well, this is the best place to recover, I think. (laughs) Would be a poor clinic if it weren't true. And I speak from experience. Hmm. Sweet boy. She reaches out and, like, pats you on the back of the hand. (laughs) My smile kind of falls a little bit quickly, still thinking. Seeker also drinks her tea, sort of lets the quiet sit until you're ready to talk. Like rubbing my fingers together as I think. In, you know, when you rub your finger and your thumb pads mm-hmm. together as yeah. you think. Doing that. Yeah. Uh, I think I may have promised a little more than I could offer. I'm not sure how I'm how supposed you... to be respectful of a life that hurts people. Mm-hmm. You kind of laugh. Riley as well, I suppose. No, I believe your oath covered that as well. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I'm glad you remember. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, I think. Indeed. I was not expecting that part of it to come up so quickly after you've just taken it, but... (laughs) I was... (laughs) Yeah, I was just thinking I would... Try and make Anne happy, and maybe make Willow a little bit more comfortable around people. Well. We both are aware that the world is not so kind always as we have made the kindness in our home for. And not slowly. might have to leave for a little bit I give her a look that says I don't necessarily want to I will be here when you return I'm counting on that (laughs) I've got a lot of life left in me yet young man (laughs) you'll probably outlive me I feel Mm. old (laughs) at 26 you feel old I've been through so much. (laughs) Hmm, and you can only remember four years of it. And yet, it is so much. (sighs) Human arrogance at its finest. (laughs) (laughs) She, like, chuckles and, like, gets up to um, give you, like, a kiss on the forehead and a little, like, cheek squish. (laughs) Mm. Um, I'm going to sleep downstairs tonight. She nods. You know where to find the linens. Yes. And we're heading to Regalport tomorrow. I think we mentioned. Yes, you said so. So if you need anything, you can write me a list. I think we're all right since the last time you went. (laughs) Good. (laughs) She tilts her head. (laughs) Uh, I had a bit of an awkward interaction with the the keeper of the apothecary. Ah. (laughs) My cheeks are a bit pink. (laughs) Gnomish girl, yes? Mm Mm-hmm. She's Mm -hmm. quite rude. 
<laughs> that is one way to put it. <laughs> I'm sure she's lovely in familiar company, which I mm. was not. It's all right to say that there are just some people who are abrasive. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely think someone would find her charming. Just not me. <laughs> Yeah, like Very put her well. around and start washing up. Yeah. Sika Elsa finishes her tea and says goodnight to you with like a hug and a kiss and heads upstairs. You didn't say thanks for dinner from Willow. Willow, you probably already said thanks for dinner like twice during the meal. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't think Luca would have noticed, so... Yeah. Oh no, I thought I'd mentioned to Luca to say it, but it doesn't matter, because Willow was being like that, so it's fine. Yep. Wait, what? I cooked dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would I thank myself? <laughs> Thanks for having me, I think, was the implication. But yeah. also, yeah, oh, Willow would have oh, thanked... Yeah. Willow asked Luca to thank Seeker Elsa for Elsa. having them. Yes. Right, okay. <laughs> Well then, yes, I would have said that yeah. at some point. Don't worry about it. In meta. Message delivered. Yeah. I was yeah. I was kidding anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my browser is frozen. Oh well. Oops. Nerfed. So, anyway. Uh, what next? <laughs> I'm going to set up a room a couple of doors down from ends. Uh-huh. And I might quietly knock on the door, even though I think they're asleep, and just let them know that I'm nearby if they need me. Yeah, and it's probably not going to answer. Who knows if they're awake or if they've just knocked out after that cry. I think they yeah, probably, probably knocked out after knocked that out. cry. Most yeah. likely. And mm -hmm. I will force myself to sleep lightly just to keep an ear on things. <laughs> Every now and then you might hear a little beep boop from if you have, if you listen very keenly. Just every now and then. Fish dog. Noise. Almost sounds like a, a quiet night bird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a little more tinny though. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like a dog. <laughs> mm hmm. Certainly not like a fish. <laughs> And I'll probably be the first awake, just yeah. because. Yeah, and it's probably going to get up a little later than they usually do. Alright, while my browser is restarting, mm -hmm. what do you guys want to do today? Well, we're, we're heading to Regalport. Yeah. Yes, are we not going to Regalport? Oops, that's the wrong willow. All willows See? are the right willow. <laughs> They're all good willows. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna, is willow... we're going to head out to Regal for it. Is Willow going to meet us at the clinic, or...? Willow will probably meet you at the ferry. Yeah. Willow okay. is closer to the ferry that takes you to Regal Port. Um, I think the fish dog will come down to join you. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. nah. Yeah, when you guys walk out the front of the clinic, it'll kind of like bloop, bloop from the um, from the roof and come down to meet you guys. Mm -hmm. When we walk, I'm going to walk with one arm behind my back, the one that mm -hmm. Anne is walking on, so that they're always kind of open to me. Yeah. <laughs> Anne's looking like they use have for the past like week. Like they look okay. But but not okay. Yeah. <laughs> they look they okay, but you know they're not. not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they react at all to fish dog being near them? Just uh it kind of surprised and they give Luca a questioning look. Is Willow here already? No, they set up a their fish dog as like a sentinel for us. Oh. They took my job. <laughs> oh two sentinels never hurt. That's a good point. And one of us is very handsome, and the other is me. So. 
<laughs> you are a cute little guy, aren't you? And it's holding fish dog. <laughs> Willow, you uh, see those two walk down towards the ferry, uh, approaching you. Whoops. Sorry, I've got hiccups. <laughs> uh, Best hiccups ever! <laughs> <laughs> what? I was trying to turn it into a compliment, it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, good effort, I guess. I, I guess? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> sure, okay. <laughs> Okay. Look, whatever. You know what? It was all of your fantastic character voices trying to come out at once. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Trying to yeah. nerf you. I'm That's I'm glitching. Oh no. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I guess. <laughs> you head to Regalport. Yeah. The other ferry. Uh, let's go. The ferry docks hey. at the uh, the Regal Port Anchorage and then sets off again. And is still holding fish dog as they turn to look at Regal Port. <laughs> Probably don't even it notice is... they're still holding fish dog. They've just had it since it they left. <laughs> A clear, bustling morning in the capital of the Principalities. Well, as close as the principalities have to a capital, anyway. So our goal for the day is to find this person who st who legally took your very not legal bird. <laughs> yes, I believe I, I got a, a place for us to start with that. Yes. And we should probably also do some reading. That was a pointed look at N. Yes, there is a library here. Hmm. Did you bring your library books with you, Willow? The ones you that you what? need to give back? They actually did. They are well, in their well. books. Wow. wow. Yeah. Congratulations. No more book crimes for you. For now. The mm -hmm. night is young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to the library. So There's always the opportunity. <laughs> Okay. So which, where do you go oh, first? Oh, and sorry, may I also mention, and... Yeah? <clears throat> so we're going to mention this to them on the ferry. Mm -hmm. Would you two be able to check for the Silver Dancer? In what way? As in, go and observe and ask around the docks. Would that not be better suited to you? Willow gives Luca such a flat expression. You don't I wouldn't want to be, be asking you. You don't want to be seen on the docks. I'd prefer to avoid it. Alright. Yeah, I can do that. You can even I'll be someone else then. if you don't want uh, association. Uh, I mean, it's possible oh, yeah. you've been seen with me. Uh... <laughs> Might as well it's put fine. my power to use. And if you want to, and only because I'm curious. <laughs> well, that's an option. You I'm fine. Have a go to your. F huh? I just realized something. Hmm? Last time you disappeared from us while we were here, when Luca and I went to the bakery. Yes, I was. You were doing this. My hmm. contact. Right. You? Willow gestures to N. Look, you'll meet him when we get there. Him. Are we going there? You hmm. aren't. You'll be standing somewhere else nearby, and I will go. <laughs> but we will meet him. I need a place to change before I head on over there, so yes. Hmm. You could just hide behind me. I, like, lift up my cape a little bit. <laughs> that is possible if you <laughs> stood between Luca and yeah. a wall. And is staring at it, squinting, like, yeah, that's actually a viable fucking option. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Luca brick! 
Ouch. <laughs> Luca is the size of a phone booth. Yeah. <laughs> Roughly the size of a barge. Ring, ring. <laughs> Kai. <laughs> Ma'am. What? How dare you? And How I dare you make Willow... a comparison? <laughs> it was not a comparison. This is a song reference. But uh, Willow has been rather like uh, quiet. But in uh, in response to that news, they have perked. Their ears have gone whoop. My mm -hmm. suggestion is we go and see my contact first so we can get that ball rolling and then we can do whatever other important research. You can also ask your contact about uh, the Silver Dancer. Maybe it never came home. Maybe it was stolen by vagabonds. We don't know. So, mm -hmm. well, we'll, we'll see. I'm not sure Doc Gossip is entirely there. Cup of tea, but... I'm sure I can gossip, gossip. bring it up in conversation. Well, they knew about and me, didn't they? They knew a thing or two, apparently. Mm -hmm. Luca, you were trying to speak? And we know your contact's name, so we're not just saying N's contact. No, it's, it's right on there. Salon sign, Vis. Miss? What? Vis, V, Vis. Oh. Uh, Willow, roll a history check. See how well you know salons in Regalport. <laughs> you think Willow has the time to get their hair done? I think Willow is very curious about everything. Yeah, you know the place. You're like, wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I probably just knew the place as a salon. Yeah, you did know the place just as a salon. <laughs> Visa Visage Salon is Not as a, a front. Yeah, it's just like it's a very nice salon. Also, like a apparently... very nice salon, like a, a really fancy brokerage. place. They do they do like transmutation magic and everything. Yeah, so Willow's eyebrows do the little bounce, and I saw someone say Willow's eyebrows aren't visible. Their their whole headband kind of does the little yeah. bounce, or they yeah. yeah. rather do the bounce. Yeah, there yeah. would there would be an expression there, like the headband would kind of move with, when they arch their yeah. brows. I feel like yeah. You know when you put sunnies well? like on your head and you can move them by moving your brow. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I imagine <laughs> Willow does. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So yep. that, but it's salon. it's like again, it's like here. <laughs> the the fancy spa does is. <laughs> Does crime? <laughs> yeah, crime, intel crime. I think Willow at this stage uh, is just the eyebrow raise and then they laugh. Well, I'm not surprised. We are in the, the yeah. Bay of Pirates, are we not? Yeah, I suppose so. Everyone here's done crime, haven't they? I give them a smile pointedly. I don't know, Luca, have you? I give them a little shrug. You wouldn't remember. I have four years of memories, Willow. A man can do a lot in four years. Did the man do a lot in four years? Of crimes. Man. Maybe you'll just have to get me drinking again to find out. <laughs> what is the boat? You want to contest when, when that? <laughs> contest what? Luca's statement. <laughs> like, do you want to do an insight check on Luca? No, I think he was leaned too close for Willow to care. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> cool. So Ain't that close. Just enough that I wasn't talking down to you. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> N is going to take you to the salon. <laughs> but first. Yes, N is going to take you specifically to a uh, side alley about a block away from the salon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold up my cloak to shield <laughs> from the view of the people passing I'm, by. This is, you know what? Thank you, Luca. Well, in saying that, they're uh, <laughs> they're tugging out the band in their hair. Willow is going to say to them both, "You know, this looks very suspicious." Well, with you two here, yes, we're, it does. We're in a pirate bay. Of course, we look suspicious. Everyone is suspicious. We wouldn't be looking suspicious, suspicious if I could just do this and we could move on. Okay. Shush. Okay. Willow shushes. So Anne's gonna pull up their hood, and you're gonna see them grow a couple inches taller, 
and <gasps> they're gonna whip down their hood and put on their eye patch as a taller, darker, more masculine, slightly looking uh, figure appears. <gasps> wow. Like doing that lean again where I want to touch you, but I'm making sure I don't. <laughs> And this uh, man is going to turn and regard both of you with a flat expression. This is Kai. Hi, Kai. Giving them like a big smile. Luca. <laughs> Why? Why? Why looks directly at Luca. <laughs> Your voice. What? I'm impressed. This is impressive. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Nice right. to meet you, Kai. I'm going to go and do my job. You two don't get into any trouble. Are we Can not we coming come? with you? No. You're staying here. I'll go talk. But I want to meet Face. It's probably better if you don't. What if I need contacts? This isn't the kind of contact <laughs> you need, Luca. What if I need salon magic on my hair? Let me do my it's job. It's been a while since I've had it. It trimmed. <laughs> we'll space out the encounters if you must get a haircut at this specific salon. And until then, I have a job to do. Stay here. In this alleyway? I suppose you can leave the alleyway if you'd prefer. <laughs> and if we just happen to come to the salon. You're not coming to the salon. By coincidence. <laughs> Uh, Kai has the same facial expressions as N. They do. <laughs> Kai's face yeah. is actually completely blank. Flatter. There's no expression. It's, it's completely blank. You know, like, um... Vocal expressions, then, Willow would say. My bad. Yeah. Can I touch same your hair? <laughs> yeah. I have a job to do. Your, f I'm your face is different. But your voice is the same. It's just very impressive. That's not a no. And is <laughs> Kai is walking away. Kai is walking Bye, away. Bye, Kai. So, Kai, you head over to the salon, but you do it in a winding way so that yep. if those two chuckle fucks are following you, <laughs> they will have to try very hard. Yep. Willow, you, uh, Willow, you know where the salon is, don't you? Uh, let's not interrupt in while they're working. When they're done, however. Yes, you can go get your hair washed. <laughs> yeah, it's pricey, Fantastic. better. Though. I so don't it. think you have the money for it. How much? I look at Willow. It, How much? Enough. This dock services princes. Oh, sorry, you are one. Exactly. Hmm. Permanent uh, die would cost five silver pieces. Oh my god, that's nothing. I'm definitely getting my hair done. <laughs> Actually, I should probably bump up these prices. It should probably cost <laughs> five gold. Oh. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Yeah. I don't want a hair dye. I just want it washed and trimmed. I want to feel pampered. That's not too bad. This is why you're poor, Luca. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> treat yourself. Treat yourself. I said treat yourself. Yeah, treat exactly. Yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> Let me work. I'm so bummed that we're not going with you. I thought this was a group activity. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe N ruined your birthday, honestly. <laughs> honestly? Gosh. You know what? I'm you can wait in the boy. alley. Wait in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I will close okay. the trash lid upon you myself so you can't oh. fucking bother me. <laughs> anyway, yes. <laughs> oh, man. And you arrive, uh, or rather Kai, you arrive at the salon. Uh, you take a moment and basically wait for a good few minutes until Vis is on their break. Uh, mm -hmm. Taking a drink uh, near the back when you show up. Uh, and today she is in full femme. Big hair blown out. Uh... Signature fabulous eyeshadow, of course. Of course. Um, I'll probably says, knock a bit on like the door frame. 
just to make sure I don't barge ah. in. Kai, honey. Good to see you. I was wondering when you'd come by again. Yeah, it's been a while. Thanks to you for holding my pay. Mm-hmm. Sure thing. So. I got a glowing review from Captain Frostroot. That's good to hear. It's a pretty simple job. Mm-hmm. But on that Vis note... Yes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Vis is sort of like, uh... Wandering around, pulls like, uh, brings you into like their back room office, uh, opens a safe and pulls out the little pouch of coin. On that note, you can probably hold on to a bit more of that than we originally arranged. I actually oh. have a couple people I need to find. Do you tell. Well. One is probably going to be a bit of a challenge as I don't have much information on him. All I know is that he was in Regalport recently and purchased something from that, you know, that Malachi place, the pawn shop. Hmm. Yes, I'm familiar with it. It's the only place I know he has been. He apparently has white hair, he's quite tall, red coat. Dragon pendant, big sword. Seems like he would stand out, but I haven't gotten the opportunity to investigate th further, and I figured I would ask you. Hmm. In case any gossip well, comes down the pike. I'll see what I can do, but obviously uh, finding someone with only a description mm -hmm. is a little more pricey than my usual fee, so... That's fine. A week. Take it. And the nods. other... Mm -hmm. Might be a bit easier. I was, um... On the topic of the theater, I actually met a fascinating individual there. I think he could help with my research. Unfortunately, I didn't get his name. Hmm... Is that why you were curious about the Galleria? I got a little over-eager, you know me. Sometimes I just get so giddy I lose my entire mind. Hmm. But this is probably a much more sensible approach. We had a good conversation, he'll probably remember me. He nods slowly. Vis needs to make a an inside check. Can I contest it? <laughs> yes, you can. Make a deception check. Okay. They nod and say, all right then. Same research that uh, took you all the way out to a little old salvage. Yes, my research on strange supernatural things. Interesting, and it's a rich fella, huh? Well, sometimes they get their hands on some interesting information, not that half of them even believe that kind of crap. Oh, you know. Plenty of, uh, idle wealthy, bored with peace and looking for new opportunities and weird places like Stormreach and so on. Yep. It's all tower spit. Mm-hmm. Well, same rate as before if you've only got a description, but I should be able to get you a name within a week or so. Is there anything I can do to expedite the process? Patient. I've still got a business to run. But I'll let you know if you want to pick up any jobs to cover the slack. Fair enough. Otherwise, that's a nice 50 for me. Off mm -hmm. the top. You're welcome to it. 
East counts out the coins and hands you back your pouch of a hundred gold pieces. Still sitting pretty. Mm-hmm. And, and Kai gathers those up and uh, starts to look like they're getting ready to head out. Oh, one, one more thing, just a curiosity. Mm -hmm. Don't suppose any anyone's talked about a ship called the Silver Dancer? That's funny. That's the name of uh, Captain Frostroot's ship. Is that so? Huh. I thought it sounded familiar. Hmm. Interesting. Eh, well. Thanks for scratching that itch. You're very welcome. Should I still keep sending you, uh, letters to that little clinic in Salvage, then? Yep. I'll let you know if that changes, but until then... Interesting that you've stayed there for, what is it now, three weeks? It's somewhere to stay. And the winter's almost done, though, so I'll probably be heading out soon. Right, of course. Well, until next week, then. Should have some more information for you, then. All right. I assume you'll want it in person instead of by letter. Yes. Beast nods. Thank you. Until next time, then. See you later. Take See care. You. In autumn, wave you goodbye. All right. Uh, yep. Kai is going to uh, slightly, with more purpose, return back to um, Willow and Luca, where they left them, and hopefully they're still there. They're not in the alleyway anymore. Well, around. No, they are not. <laughs> well, and you have options to contact them. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's say this happens. Let's say I can't see them when I first come upon the alley. And I'm just gonna... Uh, <laughs> I can't stay still for five minutes. And uh, I'm going to... Not even totally on purpose, but with the same kind of reflex in which I use my awakened mind, I'm going to glance around for them and with their kind of pinging their names in my brain yeah um willow and luca you hear like you hear someone distantly call your name huh but it like sounds like it's coming from inside of your own head where are you guys <laughs> willow's ears just like what <laughs> um <laughs> Um, 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 um. Willow might have started towards the library or they've gone to get coffee <laughs> Luca would have tried to convince Willow to walk them past the salon on the way just so he could have a look I don't think Willow would have can I try to persuade you on that I think they're going to actively well it's up to you it's up to Zeke actually um... yeah I think you might need to roleplay out this argument. <laughs> okay. As okay. in for okay. why or uh, why not you should or should not walk past the salon. So you know where this is, correct? Luca, let's just go somewhere else. I'm not going in. I just want to make sure it's safe. It's... <sighs> we can just walk past. It's probably not safe. <laughs> I know, but I want to see how and why. Because it's a salon in the middle of Regal Port, where most things are not safe. I know you don't trust front, me, apparently. but could you just indulge me on this, please? What did I say about not taking... <laughs> okay, fine. We'll walk past it, but at a distance, yes? So that Anne yes, doesn't... Yes, of course also distrust you and we'll take yes. a few minutes so that we aren't there when they're i assume in the front of the shop i know where to walk you that you won't be perceived but just ends already on shaky ground i just don't want them thinking that you can't respect that working 
as noble as your intentions may be. If I asked you not to follow me and you did, I think I'd be a little annoyed. I'm going to arch my brow at them slightly. Uh-huh. Don't read into that. Kind of like gesture for them to lead the way. So, Willow, you walk uh, Luca past the very uh, sort of bougie corner of the <laughs> pirate exchange where this salon is. Like, mm -hmm. it is clearly upscale. There are, like, fancy boutiques and tailors and such around. There's, like, a bank a block away. It's yeah, that kind of like, place. Yeah. Well, it's keeping, uh, being scarce. They are, yeah. even to Luca, he can tell that they are, like, sort of sticking to the shadows and forcing him to as well. Make stealth Luca knows checks? how to be stealthy. That's nice. Make a stealth check. <laughs> okay, well you as well then. I will. Ha! Shit. <laughs> Shit. The good news is that you are in a crowded street. So it's relatively easy to blend in. And nobody's really looking out for you. So the closest you get to the salon is I'm like put my cape over my head and then like back <laughs> over my shoulder like a hood. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like Thor from Yeah, I've got to disguise yeah. and wear it like this. That 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 <laughs> yep. is what you're doing. Yep, yes. that. <laughs> uh, Good for uh, you. Uh... Well, the black and white is... hair is somewhat distinctive, so if it's hidden, yeah. I'm a little less conspicuous. Mm -hmm. Just a I little. Also wonder... I also feel like Willow might have actually changed their jacket today, but we'll discuss the intricacies of that later. Okay. Um, yeah, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> and as we, obviously, as we walk past, I want to cast, like, cast Divine Sense just to see. Um, well, you're f further away from it than Divine Sense would let you get a read on anything inside the building. Mm. So you would be mostly getting the street. Um, How does it look from the outside? Just pretty and bougie? Very, very rich. Mm. Alright. Um, not the richest, maybe, but it's certainly upscale. Okay. The um, uh, salon sign, like, sparkles faintly. It has, like, a, a faint magical enchantment on it, which is pretty fancy. Okay. All right. We'll continue on. Would you like to get something to eat? So it doesn't look like we were just waiting. Sure. And you do a bout loop and head back to the alley a block away. And then to uh, probably like a, a coffee shop that's nearby ish. Yeah. Let's get I don't some... know if. Hmm. Let's go when was coffee to go invented? <laughs> <laughs> to Willow, they just <laughs> bring a thermos. Willow, they just have to carry cups, cups in their pockets. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Like, can you yeah. put it in this <laughs> so I can take it with me? <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. I... That would. That Actually, would fly. Don't... Yeah, I actually don't know if Willow would go to the counter though, so they'd probably just like give money to Luca. <laughs> oh god. Great. <laughs> Luca, you get two cups of coffee. I imagine Willow gives you money, which is like for a cup of coffee each, like Oh, and get one for N. Do you have three whatever N's been drinking cups? at home? <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Willow pulls out a third cup. <laughs> well, pauses, considers, around in their pocket. <laughs> rummages around. Luca is entirely impressed. <laughs> You're so thoroughly prepared. Thanks. It's cool. after you get that That's... coffee that you get pinged. Yeah. And yeah. like croissants or something. <laughs> okay. Luca wasn't meant to get croissants, but he comes back with croissants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so They're Willow spend... A silver for the coffees, Luca, um, three coppers for croissants. Thank you.
when N, you hear sort of N's voice, like, ping in your brain from a distance. Hello, Luca, where are you? Oh. You can't, re do you respond to the message? I look down at Willow, like, I think we're being summoned. <laughs> Willow's ears perk. If they were holding a coffee, they're like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, and you hear Luca's voice back going, I think we're being summoned. <laughs> and flinches. Where? Hello? Hello? <laughs> I say out loud. <laughs> the message cantrip is... Uh, <laughs> is weird. Well, I don't, Hello. I don't know this. So. Are you talking Willow, you at head? least are familiar <laughs> with what this style of magic is, even though it's, like, yeah. flavored weirdly. No, yeah, Willow's going to say don't... Don't reply out loud. <laughs> Can I reply at all? <laughs> and you just like keep hearing these like <laughs> each time you send a message, you get these very stilted, weird replies. Like, like <laughs> bummed out someone. Yeah. <laughs> just, just tell me where you are. We'll come oh, back to the alley. Back. I say aloud. <laughs> Saying that at Luca. Oh. Right. I think it really hard. <laughs> you think in f you hear uh, Luca thinking in f full caps, we're coming back to the alley! <laughs> and full body staggers directly back into the wall. I'm in your brain, why are you in mine? Get out! Is this not what we're supposed to be doing? You say that in your you head, You are aware Luca? that you are, like, casting a spell. Yeah, so this is, this is the first Luke. time, though. And Luca's very loud. <laughs> <laughs> Luca, don't yell at them. I can see it in your face. What? I'm Luca just Luca with like sure big they... eyes. Caps lock yeah. eyes. <laughs> like sucking lips in. Big eyes. Yeah. I'm stopping now. Daring. Come back to the alley. We're coming. Luca, we'll just go back to I say it really loud in my head. <laughs> and it's shutting off the message. <laughs> <laughs> you can also just try to message Willow, who does not yell. <laughs> Willow, please come back to the alleyway. Hi, we got you a coffee. Thank. Where? How far did you go? Are they still talking? Uh, <laughs> stop talking to me. Just come um, back. Oh. Yeah. Bye. You meet up in the middle while having this like weird phone conversation of like, where are you? Like behind you, behind you. <laughs> Turn around. You are the around. <sighs> in this time, I think Anne is going to have returned to Anne, just because they also want to keep yeah. Kai as a distinct entity outside of Willow for the reasons they discussed yeah. earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well. Here's your coffee. Thank you. I have news and about I... the Silver Dancer. Oh. I'm holding oh, up a croissant. Look... Oh, Willow looks like <laughs> dreading already looking at your face. Like, what? No, no. My croissant it's... lowers slightly. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Look, there's, um... It's out there. It's owned by a captain by the name of Frostroot. Can I do a history check? Or um, some sort of check? Or you just tell me in advance I wouldn't know? Uh, you can try and do a history check. Um, the name is vaguely familiar, but like there's there's as, like, someone in the Sea Dragons, but other than that, you don't really know much. Hmm. I've... Okay, why do you look like that news is terrifying? I mean, I've met her. She was also okay. attending the theater. <laughs> to what end? Not, not the Snapdragon, the Gallery of Shadows. I, I know, to what end? She attended the the show. Yeah, why do you sound... I'm asking to cut to the chase. Why are you so nervous? 
I don't know what this means. Okay, neither do I. It also means we but can't we have... just get it back. Alright, well, we roughly know where it is at least. It's not sunken. Yep. That's good. It's a I start. Guess. And I do have a foot in the door when it comes to speaking with her. She probably would not entirely reject speaking to Kai. Okay, well, it's not like we can just ask for it back if it's a captain. Uh, well, at least it's news for Captain Varys. Maybe he knows her. That's true. And they can discuss the intricacies when he gets an audience with Captain Raga. Rather, Prince Raga. Hopefully it's something. It certainly is a major lead. Mm. <sighs> well. It wasn't going to be unmanned after six years, so... It was either going to have changed hands or sunk. Mm -hmm. Could have been turned into a cruise liner. Given the state of Varus and his crew, I honestly expected it to be in a worse position. Yeah, come to expect that. Anyway, anything else interesting? Uh, I put in a request to try and find more information about your, uh, your silver-haired yeah. friend. I mm. will be notified if anything comes up. Even if we do find him before then, we may find information that could help us deal with him. We mm. could just ask him nicely. <laughs> and looks at Luca. <laughs> How's the croissant, Luca? I imagine he started eating while we were talking. <laughs> <laughs> just quietly eating and like watching the both of us. Eyes ping ponging. Yeah. Yeah. As he chews. Yeah. Mm. Well, good, I suppose. That's productive. I don't know if there's any point going down to the docks, just considering we know <laughs> who the captain of the vessel is. Yeah, that really gives you a leg up, doesn't it? I guess. Mm. I will ask Zeke, is there any point going to the docks? I don't... I don't think so currently. Yeah, since we know now, you sly bastard. God, um, you motherfucker. <laughs> you pats your face. Okay. Um. But I assume you're then going to go to the library after your snack and coffee. Yeah. And return yeah, so your Will books. Yeah, Will is going to say. Yeah. Well, drink that because we have some reading to do. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. Something I want to look into. At the library, certainly. I have a feeling that we will all be looking into roughly the same thing, so we should just pull our books in the middle and share details. And nods. Okay. Off we go. Willow starts towards the library.